Hi there, this is Carolina from State Adventures. I'm so happy that we connected and I would love to tell you a little bit more about our options in Peru. So I thought it would be easier that besides just sending you the itinerary to hop on here, go through the trip uh, and tell you a little bit more about what's included, what's not. It kind of helps you jack down any questions for me uh, and then we can definitely get on the phone and go through the trip and tweak it to make sure it's perfect for you. So let me share my screen and then we'll go over the itinerary that I sent over. So here is the PDF um, that has your itinerary. It is a private tour for two uh, to Peru. So there are no requirements for US passport holders to enter Peru, no special visas, no special vaccinations, except COVID vaccination, of course. If you're vaccinated, easy enough, you just enter Peru. If you're not vaccinated, you will need testing uh, with a PCR negative test. So I didn't put any dates on the itinerary because it's completely flexible. Everything runs every day. I'll touch on, uh, on one part that may need specific dates, but everything is also very flexible. So we can add more days in Lima or remove Lima, or if an excursion is on there that you don't want to do, let me know and so forth. So I started with Lima, you arrive to the international airport, there's going to be a guide at the terminal with a state adventure sign waiting for you with a private car outside, take you to your hotel. I chose for this sample, the Miraflores Hotel Ibero Star. It's a really nice four-star modern hotel, lots of space, outdoor space, great views. And it's in Miraflores, so right outside the door, you can explore, walk around, go to the main square. Uh, really good property. And then on day two, our guide, the same one that has picked you up from the airport, will meet you after breakfast in the lobby, show you all around Lima, the old part, the new part, the coastline. There's so many wonderful museums, like... Um, 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 Narco Museum in, in, in the Mira Flores area. So this is a private tour. You can customize it according to your interest. If you love shopping, there's an artisan market. If you love to be uh, really active, we can do everything on foot, but of course the car accompanies you throughout. And then on day three, the guide will take you in the private car to the airport. You'll fly to Cusco. It's about a 50 minute flight. And now we are at high altitude. So a lot of people will land in Cusco and feel ill and wind up, you know, wasting a lot of days trying to acclimate. And the way to acclimate faster is go down in altitude. So when I pick you up in Cusco, our driver will take you right to Sacred Valley. It's about a 2000 feet drop in altitude. It makes you feel so much better. You can breathe easier. And en route, we will stop at some Incan sites for some soft walking, not any extraneous hiking or anything like that. And we will stay in Sacred Valley for two nights. I chose the Aranwa because it is such a great little property. It has acres of land, beautiful um, trails you can walk around when you get a second wind and just uh, enough to do that you don't feel like you're just sitting in a hotel with nothing um, to enjoy. And the site that we're going to see today is Moras and Morai, which are Incan laboratories, and of course, Salineras, which is beautiful salt uh, mines of the Incas. And on day four, another day in the Sacred Valley, again, because this is kind of a hub for ruins, indigenous markets, communities that we sponsor in the Sacred Valley. So while you're waiting for your body to acclimate and feel better, you will actually get to see a lot. So we're gonna to go to Ayacaycambo, which is a massive um, ruined structure with a very charming little town. We'll go to Pisac, which is the largest indigenous market in all of South America. So we'll see plenty, do plenty, have a lovely lunch uh, at a local restaurant and rest because on day five, this is our excursion to Machu Picchu. We're gonna take you to the train station and board the Vista Dome train. That's the one with the glass dome ceiling. So you have really great views. And once you arrive at Machu Picchu, again, this, when people do this on their own, there's chaos, there's like hundreds of people arrive off the train. It's a very small train station. There's just so much going on. Um, what we do is we have our guide waiting for you at the train station, as well as porters from your hotel. So the porters will take your bags to your hotel. And we will discuss how to pack for Machu Picchu because you cannot bring all your luggage. 
Um, and the guide will take you to the ruins. So there's no chaos for you. You just arrive, drop your bags up, boom, go right to the shuttle, go up to the ruins and enjoy the citadel. So the tour usually takes two or three hours. You have plenty of time to really soak in Machu Picchu. And then while everyone else leaves or a lot of the people who have come in the morning will leave in the afternoon, we will actually stay in the village, spend the night, um, you know, get to get, get to know the village of Machu Picchu. And that gives us an opportunity to get it, get up in the morning and go up for sunrise. Very special time, not only because the light changes in the morning, but because there's way less people. It's still going to be crowded, but not as crowded as on an afternoon. So it's a really special way to see Machu Picchu. It's the core of your trip, right? It's the main pipe point where you're going to Peru, you want to do it right. And then in the afternoon, we're going to take the train back to Cusco. And now we're fully acclimated. It's the center of our trip. We can rest and really get spoiled. And I chose the Convento Marriott Hotel. And I'm usually not a fan of chain hotels, but they have done such a wonderful job renovating this property. Uh, it's a very historic building, lots of history in there. Uh, so I think you would really enjoy it. And we worked with um, this chain for quite a long time, uh, so we get really good rates for it. So you're going to spend a few nights in Cusco, your arrival day, then a full day seven in Cusco to see all the sites and the markets and the archaeological sites outside of the city. And then on day eight, we will sleep in Cusco, but we will rise early in the morning to go to see Rainbow Mountain. And here we can chat about what your preferences are. Are you a hiker? Do you want something strenuous? Do you want to go where all the people um, like on Instagram and social media go, which is uh, Rainbow Mountain? Or do you want something less um, crazy, which is called Koya, which is a Rainbow Valley, very colorful, but way less people there? We'll discuss. I have done them both, um, and we will choose what works for you. It's a private tour, just the two of you with a driver and a guide. So we will um, customize it accordingly. And then you'll return to Cusco, have a lovely dinner, enjoy your last night there. Because on day nine, you will be taken to Lake Titicaca. Again, here there's three different ways to get to Lake Titicaca. And it's the only day on this itinerary that we have to think about. If you want to ride the train, it only runs three times a week. So we will have to accommodate the itinerary around it. If you don't care to ride the train, we can have a private guide and driver join you and take you uh, on this journey um, up to Puno in Lake Titicaca, or we can also fly. So there's three different options. Again, we can chat about it, but it's a beautiful journey. And then you arrive on Lake Titicaca, it's the highest lake that people um, live on. It's people going to really get to know the island and the different communities that reside here on day 10. We'll go to Uros, which is a floating island, super colorful, very fun, and Tequila Island, which is a proper island. But the people that live there have uh, swapped their chores. So you see women out in the fields working and men inside weaving. So it's very interesting um, to get to know them. We'll spend another night on the lake, and day 11, you come home. You, we have fly you to Lima, and from Lima, you take your international flight home. So as you see, you get to really experience a lot in 11 days. It's a beautiful journey. It's really well thought out so that you don't feel ill from the high altitude. We really take care of you. Safe Adventures has been uh, specializing in Latin America since 2006. I have been personally to Latin America 33 times. I know Peru really well. These are my guides, my drivers. I know them well, and I know that you will be taken care of. 24 7. Like I said, completely open to customization. So let me know your thoughts, uh, what dates would work. We can discuss seasons and, uh, you know, the, you know, what's the best time to visit. Or if you want more, the Amazon jungle, Nazca line, there's so much more to see. Uh, so if you have a few more days, we can chat about that as well. Let me know your thoughts. Happy travels. I'm more than happy to help.